In other news, two caretakers in Enid have been arrested for allegedly abusing clients with intellectual disabilities. And police say this violence has been ongoing. News 9's Chris Yee reports, we do want to warn you, though, the photos of the injuries in the story are disturbing. We went to the door, but it was locked. We knocked, but the staff inside would not answer. The Robert M. Greer Center in Enid is a treatment facility for adults with intellectual disabilities and mental illness. And it's where police say ongoing abuse had been happening. I don't know what would possess uh, someone to want to do that to another person. Police say three caretakers, 21-year-old Jonathan Martinez, 24-year-old John Nieto, and 28-year-old Jonathan Orozco used a bed sheet to choke a client until he lost consciousness, then beat him until he came to. The contusions uh, and the difference in coloring shows that Parts of it were healing, parts of it were fresh, that the abuse was ongoing. A witness told police the caretakers abused that client dozens of times. An affidavit says the victim had the mental capacity of a four-year-old. They would also bribe or entice uh, other clients at the facility to assault some of the victims. Police say the suspects performed types of waterboarding against clients as well. And I think they performed these acts uh, just for the sake of, of doing it or uh, taking some sort of pleasure from it. Police say they arrested Martinez and Nieto, but are still looking for Orozco. Although the Greer Center was locked, Oklahoma Human Services responded to us, saying the allegations are heinous and that the agency is cooperating with police. Human Services also stopped new emissions to the facility. Police say the investigation is ongoing and they are expecting to pursue more charges against the suspect. Police are also urging anyone with additional information on the alleged abuse here at the Greer Center to give them a call. In Enid, Chris Yu, Oklahoma's own News 9.